Hi guys, this is just a quick little note, thought process, unscripted, short, hopefully short rambling. So with my recent um, what if video, what if peril to go over the sky wings, there has been a lot, a lot of people saying or asking like, well, if, you know, if peril burnt the venom out of clay how did it not burn out of her you know um how did how did the viper even manage to bite her if she, if her scales are fire how does that even work and um it kind of got me thinking and i wanted to address it because it's a kind of an interesting thought but it's not really long enough for like an actual video it's just like a little itty bitty teeny tiny thought i have in my head so the way i was kind of picturing it um, and y'all can feel free to interpret it differently because it's not actually like explained in the book how perils fire scales work, right? But the way that I was kind of picturing it when I wrote that is that the snake bit so fast that its fangs, thereby the venom, penetrated her scales before it died. So in the split second, you know, before it got burnt, the venom was in her blood, right? Now you can argue whether or not you think that would work. Um, I mean, teeth, fangs, they're made of bone. So I would think, I mean, if you've ever set bone on fire, which, uh, I have, <laughs> but if you've ever burnt bone, you know that it doesn't like burn right away. She would have to be really, really, really hot in order to burn bone before it could inject her with venom is what I'm saying way hotter than I think she is based on a lot of other context clues. So I do think the venom would have made it into her bloodstream. Then as to the more popular question, which is, well, if Peril burnt the venom out of clay, how is the venom not burnt out of her? And so here's what I think about that. The inside of Peril is not on fire. Like it's fire scales. Okay. So when, when Peril burnt the venom out of clay, the venom was in his, she wasn't burning the venom. She was burning the flesh that had been infected by the venom with her claws. So she was using the fiery exterior of her body to very quickly burn out all the infected parts of his body because the way that that venom was spreading was he got bit and then it spread through his leg, right? And so she acted quick enough to burn the venom out before it got all the way up his leg, which makes sense. But if she was bitten, if she had that venom inside her, I don't think her fire scales would save her because she doesn't have like fire inside her. Plus this, well, okay, this doesn't really have, I mean, no matter where she bit, it would have worked the same, but she also got bit in the neck, which is like a, a highway for arteries and important things. And so that makes it even worse. But anyways, back to my point about the fire scales. I, I basically think it would have killed her if she'd got bit by a, a, a dragon bite viper because she was burning the infected clay out of the infected flesh out of clay, not just burning the venom, you know, with her, with her claws. Um, now if she had thought, I guess in that split second to give herself the same treatment to claw the venom out of herself, I guess that would have worked except she would have, she would have died in the process. So she'd still be dead either way. So you get my point. I don't think, I don't, you know, I don't think she's immune to dragon bite viper. I think that if the snake struck quickly and I, I if it, I just think, I think a dragon bite viper would kill her because it would be fast enough and it would be inside her fire scales. Now the snake would still die. It does die in my story. Um, he would still shrivel up, but like the damage is already done. So it's too late. It's like a suicide mission basically. Um, so, and plus, you know, as a storyteller, you really don't want to have an invincible character, if that makes sense. I mean, Peril is pretty close to it being invincible and it's pretty boring story-wise to have a character who can't be killed except by like old age. She'd probably have to be poisoned through food or something, um, or via a bite or bad water. Or I don't know. Um, or maybe just a regular sickness. It like, it would, it's kind of makes it hard to have a character like that. It's less interesting because the stakes are lower because this character can't be hurt, if that makes sense. So having her still be vulnerable to certain things like dragon bite vipers or poison or something like that makes her a little bit more engaging as a character. 
Anyways, okay, that was that did end up being a little bit longer than I expected it to be, so maybe I'll play some art over this or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for listening to me ramble. It was just a neat little thought that I had that I kind of wanted to share with y'all. So um, y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching uh, my what ifs and all my other videos. And uh, I'll see y'all this Sunday.